episode six of Grandma Jane's Attic with me, Devin, and me, Siobhan. <laughs> that worked out. It did. It did. So um, last time, last episode, we talked about our Rhinebeck trip, and I realized we didn't even talk about the sweaters we slept over <laughs> the day before to talk, really to talk about, give it the credit this pattern deserves and the time we spent doing it it deserves so we yeah. figured we'd start with that um <clears throat> it's been a few weeks so we've finished it's been, a it's been a month so we've finished projects we've started new one a lot of new ones bought things so mm -hmm. yeah we're here uh, to share it all sun's out. oh not over here oh the sun's <laughs> out over here finally <laughs> my coffee's here it's fine Go get it. Oh. Go get it. Oh, I have a, I have my hot tea, so it's fine. Cup. Oh, it's the grocery girls. Okay. I was like, is that a grocery cart with yarn in it? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I was a little worried it wasn't. Uh, I bought a sock bundle from them, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I do with the yarn. Oh, because I know I didn't make socks with it. Did you give it to me? You gave me a sock. Ooh, maybe, maybe I maybe I gave that to you. It's gray was with gray with yellow like I a gray know. oh I'm pretty sure because you gave me one one year for Christmas it's, and I think it's it's a while ago it must have been because I don't know because I don't know what I do with the yarn I I have it and I don't have I have no I have a lot of sock patterns saved for them but have yet to choose yeah, a pattern yeah. to it, so we're gonna be sock knitters no we're not I have I have so many sock patterns I have so much sock yarn that I bought Oh, it just I, I just really want to make the two that I bought patterns for Ryan Beck. You have a machine. And it doesn't fuck it. It drives me insane. It like all tangles up, doesn't actually get off the hook. I've tried a couple of different yarns and now I'm just sick of it. And I feel really bad because Joey probably paid a lot of money for the pattern to, or like the blueprint to be able to print it. And it's not perfect and that's a problem when it needs to be a machine that works so it's just sitting way over here ignored i know because it's like six hundred dollars to buy one of those oh yeah and i mean he he cranked that he cranked, out cranked some tubes he made that for me for christmas last year and it was funny because i <laughs> made him a pair of socks like I yeah. knit him some and then he gave me that and I was like, this is hilarious. And that's when I was like, I'm going to be a sock knitter because yeah. I have the machine. Mm -hmm. I've made one other pair of socks since then and they were for Kennedy. So little ankle socks. <laughs> I'm not going to be a sock knitter, guys. It's not happening. And I made one last year <laughs> and one pair this year. I'm so one, one a year. This is, gonna, I think this will lead into our current whips just because I am hoping to cast on a pair of socks for my mother-in-law for Christmas, but I have my current whips, which are all Christmas presents right now, um, taking up my time and my needles. So I'm not going to yeah. be a sock knitter. <laughs> should, we start, should we start with our sweater? Oh my gosh. Yeah. We have any, again, we're going to forget about it. We're going to forget about the hard work. Um, I don't, so this is the bouquet sweat, sweater. Yes, guys. Um, the bouquet sweater by you. Yonko Akamata. I can't, I can't pronounce it. I am terrible with that. Um, but she does patterns. So I didn't this. <laughs> Um, but it wasn't until I went to the Thread and Maple booth and I was chatting with the woman there. She's like, wow, how did you get your, yours to be so small? Because all of her designs are one size. Yes. And I didn't realize that. Oh, I totally and did. And I had and to have a problem with that. So I guess I won't, but like mine is really small. It is. Yours fits it, really well. And mine I, is so big and bulky it's almost uncomfortable like it's I don't mind once I have long sleeves it'll be amazing yeah I don't mean the oversizedness but it's not my size. I know. 
like I have high waisted leggings on and it goes to there. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how I, and this is to the pattern. All I did, so I have worsted weight yarn. Mm-hmm. I feel like, so this is Malabrigia Rios. Is that what you used to? Yep. That's my main color. And this is yeah. Cod Gray, which is why I, I feel like the yarn she used <laughs> might've been more of like a, a heavier weight worsted, almost like an Aran. And this is more of like on the lighter worsted side. Mm-hmm. And I sized down needle and it came out this small. It came just, out this small. I, <laughs> and I, I did, I got my I don't, I don't gauge. Yeah, like, I got my gauge that. right on and I used the needle size recommended. I also have um, Malabrigo. Okay, yours, is that what you said? I'm sorry. Did yours, does yours meet gauge? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And this is Trendsetter's yarn. I think yep. the type of yarn is Icon. I don't know the name color. I'm like in the middle of waiting for a new desk. So my office is a we'll put it, we'll put it in the show. Yeah, we'll find you it. Have it. You have it somewhere. You have we'll it somewhere. It. It's just not happening right now. But I felt like this almost felt like mohair. At first, it looked like it, right? So you would think like lace or fingering weight, but it is worsted weight. And I used it held double with a fingering weight for my Sophie scarf. Scarf, yeah. And um, it was very thick. Like the fingering weight added with it made it very, very thick. So I believe it is definitely a worsted weight, but it's like you said, on the smaller side. Like more like a sport than an Aaron. <clears throat> like mine. Um, so I haven't actually blocked mine. Like I've steam blocked it, but like you can see the puckering. I think and we talked about the story in our last episode. Yeah, about like I won't in. But like yeah. after like I've been wearing it more and I noticed I need like here, here's a good example. Mm-hmm. By the end of the day, it's just like this on me. Yeah. So oh. I need to I don't, I, I'm so blend, but like, I will say the pattern is, is if you can do color work, you can do. If you can read a color work chart. Yeah. This should not be your first color work pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't understand how to control floats until you've done color work. And you do have to do some funny increases. Like I remember doing increases, but like being stuck with two different color yarns. Like it was like, I caught my float. I was trying to catch them more evenly and I would catch a float and then I'd have to pick up that, that to make a new stitch. And that was just kind of hard. And I mean, I think in person, even in the video, you can almost see like where I picked it up and you can almost see the pink through it, you know? Yeah. And I haven't blocked this either. We only did, we steam blocked it like 15 minutes before we left for Rhinebeck. Yeah. So I've steamed it a couple of times, but it need this needs a good wash. Like you you can see the puckering still. Well, I I also think while you were, while we were knitting it and we were comparing them, I feel like you had a tighter tension with your floats than I did. Even like before we blocked them, because I tried really hard to make sure that I I left enough slack. And I mean, I'm going to, I have a sports bra and I don't really care, but like, I feel like they're pretty even. It's pretty even on the back, like on the wrong side. Mine are all very evenly tight. Yeah. Yeah. I I thought mine were going to be. Mine are very even. Yeah. Very tight. I t- yeah I think my worry was that um it was going to be lo- they were going to be really loose and, and I was going to get caught on everything yeah yeah I would put my finger through them when I put it on that never happened but no. that was what I thought nope um so I did my floats like I think every eight stitches I tried to catch it um but I would say there's this uh, so then I learned about this other way to catch long floats um and it, I think it's the jacquard method that I didn't read about in the pattern. Yeah, and I didn't read about it either. Almost, it looks like it's a chain that mm-hmm. goes up. Is it, wait, is it the Jacob's Ladder? 
because I learned that through Neutrino, who actually I will be talking about more later because of my book purchase. Yeah. Um, but I, for one of their, the rule breaker cowl that had a sim- very simple color work design motif, but the point of the pattern was to teach you this Jacob's ladder catch of the oh, flow. Yeah. And so I- on the back, it looks like you said, it just looks like a chain of stitches, but it catches those long floats and like, it's just another stitch. It was yeah. like, I can't remember what it was, knit behind or something, slip and knit behind and then slip it on the next one. Yeah. I don't I remember. Really saw like a blog. Mm-hmm. About, oh, I bet that would have been helpful. Yeah. Because like this yeah. is all, all afloat. Can you see, how about on my yeah. back? How does, because the back I think is yeah. like you have the, oh, look at my, <laughs> have I weaved it and woven in the end? Oh, you're <laughs> That's funny. I actually on the back, I have some ends like a gray end and a pink end that are just knotted together so they don't fall down the back. But I think on the back, that's where you have the most space, you know? Yes. And that would be probably where I pick them up. Yes. Same. Yeah. Overall, though, I think if you're like, if you've done color work and you feel confident reading a chart and understanding, a key for a chart there weren't a ton of symbols but it's something that you need to know and feel confident in because it's a lot of color work and like if you can for me it helped me to know what the pattern looked like the motif so I could see like because sometimes you'd go around and did you have to go back and forth on the pattern no we just kept going around on it yeah because it was I kept getting tripped up with something in it and I would put the floats on the wrong side, something in it, in the chart kept tripping me up. Um, And I had to look at say like, wait, what am I making? Am I making a flower right now? Yes. I think it's because it was like you were knitting the float. Like these are floats just so everyone can know what the hell we're talking about. So these are all little floats. So all you did was bring your yarn to the front and keep knitting. And I think that was the issue because it was like, I think it was a different color. So it made me think like, I think I need to pick up another color, but really I just need to put my yarn to the front to knit it. And you have to think like this is a color, this is a color. And then these are all a color. It, I think I, I can't fully remember. It's been too long now. Dang it. Yeah. It was some, something kept, it was tripping me up. But overall, but it, I think it was easy to catch your mistakes when they happened. Cause I don't yeah, think I had to rip was, anything it, out. And, but it, for me, it wasn't easy to fix them. Mm-hmm. I didn't go too. I, I guess for me, you notice your mistakes right away. Yeah. That's but, yeah. Because I didn't go, ever make it like a road deep and go, oh my gosh, I messed up. Yes. I recognized oh. it by the end of the chart. And I was like, wait. The, the hardest thing for me on the chart was, so I have an, the big iPad mm-hmm. with my knit companion, like line by line. Yep. Out, so I got to go. And it was, this is all one, one. chart. Yeah, this is one, one row on. I'm using my phone. I was using my phone, yeah, like it's, literally here. It's pulled up already. It's already pulled there's, up. There's, it, I think it's a hundred. Is it a hundred and sixty stitch chart? Because you don't repeat the motif. I don't know. Like on some of them, you know, it's a twelve stitch motif, and you go on and on and on. Right. Just, no, it was where are you? just straight across. It was and like great. this is each, all. Come on, where did it go? Each yeah. like bigger square has five little squares in it. So like, it was just like, this was okay. Yeah. This was fun at first. You're like, okay, I've got this groove. And then all of a sudden you have like 30 stitches of just knit at the end of the chart of that row. And you're like, wait, let me count that again. Yeah, This is repeated three times. I think one section yeah. up. One, but two. It was, mm-hmm. But it was, yeah, it's a lot. I forgot. And then the bottom is two charts. So you would knit yeah, chart front. one, chart two, chart one, chart two. Oh no, it was just chart one and then chart two. That's right. Okay. Sorry. The front. And that, that was hard to manage in knit companion for me. I think I was okay with it. 
I mean, like I said, it's my phone. So it's right there in practically in my hand anyways. And the front and the back motifs are very different again. So like you could tell like I'm on the front now. I finished yeah. this now back. I finished yes. that. Yeah. yeah. It was very easy I, to correct. I did like, this was the first time I did this. Yeah. Cast on. The tubular oh. cast on. The tubular one by one. I've never done this before. It is mind-boggling I it messed is. it up I messed it up real bad at first well because I've been reading other patterns and they're and I got so trained to the fact that when you read a pattern and it tells you a technique it doesn't explain the technique in the pattern right so I googled it oh tubular cast on I don't know how to do that and I googled it and I googled I didn't google how to do it in the round not realizing it mm-hmm. and so I did it back and forth and the first few rows I'm like what the f is like because it was I was in the round going around and I'm knitting the pearls and I'm, this is not right and then I just realized no like she literally explained this to you yeah how to do that yeah I just she did okay. yep she ex- and I think she explained it really nicely because I did not yeah. have issues yeah I when, but once the I, pattern yeah once I ripped it out and redid it I'm like, god I'm such a moron it but it's it's beautiful it's just like a it rolled is. edge. It's essentially a rolled yeah. edge. It's a provisional cast on, and you cast on half the stitches, and then you double it. Yeah. And then you go in there. You do like knit and pearls a certain way the first couple. Yeah, and then you just, it's just so nice because there's yes. no seam there's nothing. to connect it. Where Whereas the bottom, I don't know what the hell I was supposed to do at the bottom, but I was like, I want to match this. So I just did a rolled hem and you can see like my seam is a little, it's a little bit tighter. Not that it matters because my sweater is like over. Mine, didn't, but mine did not come out so well. My rolled bottom on mine. Yeah. It, um, this well, as I say that, this is probably one of the good sections, but there's one where I had just all wrong, yeah. all wrong. But I think it's it's a folded edge, not a rolled edge. Yeah, it's just folded in half. And I think yours has like that tube on the end. On like it's the- supposed, it, it's supposed yeah. to. It's not, but it, it's supposed to. Listen, it was really early on Saturday morning, and we this needed was- to get. Oh no, no, you were doing sleeves. You were doing sleeves. The sleeves I, I just did a traditional. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. No, the sleeves we were finishing. Cause yeah, I had, yeah. by the time we got to Ryan Beck, I don't know, did had, was the body finished? I don't know. I don't think I had I don't think it was. I think I was with I you as you were trying to finish that tubular I bind I off. Cause I was like. I think I was actually doing the bind off and that's why it came out the way it did. Yeah. Cause then, yeah, it was Friday. I was going to finish yeah. the sleep and we did, and we finished it Friday night. Mm-hmm. Saturday. Yeah. Cause I was, fi- I had finished yeah. body before and I was working on the sleeves really hope I was really aiming for long sleeves. I mean, I still am, but it's just not on my priority I- list right now. So yeah, I have I- slightly uneven three quarter length sleeves. Yeah. I- but I, I, enjoy, so I'm happy when I first saw this pattern, I think it was a year or two ago when it first came out, I didn't think I would ever do it because of the outside floats and because of this potential, but I'm glad I did it mm-hmm. and I conquered my fear and it still came out this way. And yeah. I'm still like, um, maybe next I'll conquer my fear of washing it because I, so we were because we were so confident we were going to finish these sweaters. We were going to wear the matching ascots. I was, I thought I was going to finish this two days before we left. I thought I was going to be done, washed, well, dried, yeah. all of it. And as I was doing this, like I, I knit at night. That's when I knit. And I wasn't sure, like, was the yarn turning blue? Were my feet oh, yeah. Because like, I couldn't tell. And then I made this the blue this is going to be a blue sweater if I wash if I block this so I have to like get the urge to trust these color catchers that you can yeah tell me. I am like I'm gonna say it again you need to get a color catcher I don't even remember what brand it's from but I remember uh-huh. Kennedy but yeah got yes. into yellow dye yellow powder dye she somehow yeah. managed mm-hmm. to open it it was brand new tape shut and she mm-hmm. 18 month old 
Kennedy fucking opened it and got it all over herself, all over one of my woven wraps, like hand woven yeah. wraps. And I was like, mm -mm. what? And it was blue. So it was turning it green. And I'm like, if I wash this, it's going to set it. If I add water to this yellow powdered dye, it is going to activate it and dye this wrap. And then it's essentially worthless. And that is not why I invest in these wraps. So anyways, I used the color catcher and boop, there was no issue. So I'll have, I'm going to try it because you have to. this sweater is just, it deserves a good washing to correct my yeah. mistake. All of it. And it's, but, and a lot of this is because this is where you do the increases too. Yeah. So yeah. My right tension is a little tight. Mm -hmm. My, when I make stitches, it's a little tight. So yeah. It's so cozy. Do, I love this. Do you have a mask on? I, my ascot is downstairs. It's in the mud room. Because this is yeah so great. I'm telling I you, mean, mine would look so good too. That would look so good with it too, Devin. Oh my God. This I, is yarn from the Wandering Flock mm -hmm. from Rhinebeck. Yeah. I bought it specifically for this and um, to make a beret, which I'll show after because I started that too. Um, Go ahead, show it now. Show it now. We can move into our whips. Oh, well, this, like, we need to give this the credit it deserves, yeah. though. Agreed. Because I think it's such an easy, so simple, satisfying knit, and it's adorable. I think it's I did not feel it's not super quick. Uh, when I timed myself, I think it was about six hours. Yeah, so it's I feel not, like that's about a half. You know, I know, but a bulky weight hat is two hours. Like, I, this is not a, this is an entire day of sitting to finish one it's a weekend project I was gonna say if I can finish something in a weekend that it's a week. is like very your, satisfying your next long weekend so Thanksgiving everyone should be making this oh my gosh yeah we should have a Sophie knit along. okay so official Sophie say, scarf knit along happening Thanksgiving weekend we're just because I need because I so Wes she needs my, another one my, five-year-old thinks this is the best thing he's ever seen and he loves to wear it and so yesterday we walked around in our matching mascots I don't have the heart to tell him like this is not what little rough and tough boys wear but it's fine he doesn't he, need to be a rough and tough boy he no, because he's not whatever he's the not. fuck he wants no I know but he, he wore the shit out of that are you kidding me he was adorable when you sent me that I was like and that then he, he came up to me with this because this is um oh I didn't even talk about the yarn wandering flocks it's I held two fingering weights so it's a, just a super wash merino in terracotta held with a very blush um it's very here, they have them so it's this terracotta mm -hmm. with the mohair Marie Antoinette held together it comes to this beauty it comes to the color of your sweater it is it is so soft mm -hmm. like I can't describe it. like Wes came up with it this morning he's like can I have this one I'm like absolutely not <laughs> no no like no he, tie, he ties it on himself it's quite funny he's got very good too I love so it so this is um this is obviously my color. I may have gone out yesterday and bought something that matches this, like a whole outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh, three yeah. Piece, you told me. A three-piece sweater set. Yeah, because you couldn't knit that. Put it at home and look cute. And <laughs> so I have that. And then this is what, no, I bought that yarn. I bought the yarn to make a, a, like, a really nice Sophie scarf. Mm -hmm. Once I started that blue one, it's a built-in eye cord. You literally just knit. You yeah. literally knit. That's and then it. Like, and you had to increase increases. and decrease. Yep. That's all. It is so simple. It yeah. is so, and it's quick and easy. Okay. You feel good about it. Yeah. But this is what, um, I don't have the pat the pattern to show, but it's, it's a beret. It's literally a beret. Um, and it's called beret number one from my favorite things. And it is, two fingering weight yarns held together she had a bunch of kits of this this yeah. is not them the blue I, I regret Eight. not getting 
she had a navy blue mohair held with like this white speckle oh, oh it was beautiful <sighs> it would have looked like, so good maybe, maybe i buy that and that's like my silky scarf challenge is to finish that yes. it's literally these two colors blended together it yep. would be this it yep that's what it literally doing. is this blended literally. together but yeah i do want to finish this beret i'm almost done three, size three needles this is killer for me though this is wild how hard of a turn you've taken this year on oh, I've never made small. I've never made it little yeah ever I've never in my life needed a bag that could hold a project that was only this big yeah yeah <laughs> because my skeins of yarn are just bigger than this or you need like three skeins of yarn yeah yeah they serious and they're super bulky yeah have you started another silky scarf I have not I am just your winter you need a winter jacket I need now I need a long like wool winter coat I have a pink one my hot pink one but I need another a new one yeah and whatever that is I will make a matching silky scarf for Mm, I just wear like not nice winter coats I'm very I know all you like I don't understand like five seconds I'm not going outside for a runway show and when I come in the house it's gonna be hot as balls so I take my coat off and ta-da I know this is what I think I can't wait when I start working from home yeah in a couple months and at school drop oh you don't have school drop off I have to drop my kid off at school I'm gonna wear leggings and some ugly ass shirt and I'm gonna put a nice coat on it with my Sophie scarf and I'm gonna look so put together and it is going to be a hot mess underneath. That's all. That's a, a that is a coat's purpose. That's a nice coat's purpose is to make you look like you have it all together when underneath you got this fucking you've worn your clothes for four days straight. Let's be honest. It's going to happen. Yeah. But I'm going to have an amazing scarf me on and the- hat and coat. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about it's all about the wrapping. Yep. Okay. Okay. So go to we'll go to Target because they have. Okay. have I'm when sorry. when Circle comes out with their twenty percent off, we'll go to Target because they have a couple. They have a jacket there. I do not need it. It is only forty five dollars, but it it's a puffer jacket. I don't wear these, but it's all different um, floral prints, and I need it. So I need it. Do I guess? I feel like I already owned this back in the eighties, but I need it. So the nineties. I was thinking about what color, what kind of yarn. I honest to God, this is how bad my it's turned for me. Was I was thinking if I buy this jacket, do I have the yarn to make a hat for it or, or anything? And I didn't. So it stayed on the rack. That was your deciding factor. You didn't have the yarn. I didn't have the right color yarn for it because it was kind of not my colors. Right. Which well, is what also speaks to me about the coat. Well, you know what? I feel like that's more practical than buying something that you're probably not going to wear because you don't have anything to wear it with. You know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. I've stopped doing that. I've stopped buying nice dresses. <laughs> yeah. As I say that, I just thought. Yarn, polo dress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Dress. To wear to an office. It's fine. For like another couple of months. I'm going to look so nice working from home. Because I can't wear this kind of stuff to a factory. You literally just said you're going to be wearing the same thing four days in a row, hot yeah. mess. Yeah, I know. So I'm buying dresses. That makes sense. So much sense. What are you working on? I am currently working on um, the Gold Star sweater for Joey. I'm trying to figure out which row if I'm on. Yeah, okay. I'm switching skeins every two rows, so I need to like remind myself. Why? What? Why every two? Um, I just like the way that looks. I think it. I'll show you. Hold well, on. people do every other row. That's why I say that. That's what it is. Every other row, I do two. Oh. In one in one skein, two in the next. That's every other row. No. One row in one skein, one row in the other skein. Every oh. Other row. So what every do you do? Row. No, that's you every row. Skeins every round. Every other round, I alternate skeins. 
I don't know how I can process this, but okay. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So you're knitting two rounds and switching it. Two rounds and switching. Yes. I was like, I know I have a barber cord to put these on before I pick it up because I am using a cable that is definitely not the length I would like to use for a man's sweater, but um, I've dropped stitches a lot just picking it up to like hold it. So I just, mm -hmm. okay. So anyways, I'm doing, this is the gold star sweater. I don't think I started it during our, from our last video, but I did show the yarn. Oh, you showed the yarn. Yeah. This is the yarn from Rhinebeck. So the top, the top is um, just like some, it was discount yarn. Let's be honest. It was like $5 a skein. So it's just, I think it's like a natural brown color. And then this yellow is um, Little Fox Yarns and it's Honey Bear. And then the blue is from Verse Yarns and it's Over the Rainbow. And it's Worsted Weight, the Gold Star Sweater from Max the Knitter. And I have the barber cord. It's one on both sleeves, so it's tied. So I can't like stretch it all the way out because I couldn't idea. find two. Yeah, that's a good idea. But so, so far I think it'll be okay. And it yeah. just bigger from there. Are and I've done the work now. I'm done the color work. Well, I think the bottom, like maybe inch has like a couple of stripes of these. Oh. And then okay. it's everything. And then the same with the sleeves. There's like a little bit of a detail on. So the... there is something to look forward to at the end. Yes, there is. So that's, I'm like, I feel like I'm breezing through this because I know I have a few stripes. Yeah. And so like this, I think is the worst of the striping. <laughs> I am not a fan of striping, of the stripes, right? And honestly, it's not as bad in person. I feel like it shows a lot more. Oh, that's yarn. That's how it goes. And yeah, you know, I'm just glad that it's not like big pools because I have a couple sweaters where it's like a big pool of a color, and I'm like, damn, yeah. Yeah. that's why we alternate skeins. <laughs> so overall, I am loving knitting this. It's super fun. It, I feel like I got through this part really quickly. And that's um, Max the Knitter. This is Max the Knitter. Yep, who I got to meet at Rhinebeck. It was very exciting. And if Joey doesn't like it, I'm totally going to steal it. Yeah, why not? Love it. So I also have um, what I just finished. I need to weave in the ends and wash it. But this is the Pritchard sweater from Christina Denae. Denae. Um, super simple. I think that's, yeah, that's the back simple top-down raglan. I used Lion Brand Homespun. I'll find the color, the colorway. But when I saw it's, this, it's just one skein. Yeah. Well, no, I use, it's one color. Yeah. Um, one color. Yes. Yeah. Um, when I saw it, I was like, Ooh, that looks like unicorn hair. Kennedy would love that. And I had shown it to her. I mean, I bought it like six months ago and I had shown it to her and she was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a unicorn's mane. And I was like, perfect. That's what we're using. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Again, super simple. She'll get that for Christmas. And so since everyone's going to get sweaters for Christmas, I got to keep it up. I have two other children. So last night I cast it on. They're all going to get the Pritchard sweater. They're all using homespun yarn from Lion Brand. I'll show you the colors. Okay. So now we have Evans. Evan is 16 and he is a teenager. He is a teenager. His favorite color is pink. So we're going with a pink accent and then he'll have a gray body. And then I there wasn't enough gray so I got black and I'll just do a couple of black stripes in the yoke and then have the cuffs be pink. And I think he will be thrilled to stand out. I knit him a hot pink hat last year and he literally didn't take it off his head until like the summer. And I was like, you need to take it off. Don't wash it because it's wool, but you need to take it off. So that's what this is Evans. I started it last night and it's it's gonna be big, but he is a big kid. He is we don't know why he is so as big as he is. 
his, his parents are not. And then this is um, Quinn's color. So Quinn asked for blue. I know Quinn asked for purple. And we know Quinn, blue is his favorite color. Purple is not. But this color in person is almost, I don't want to say marled, but almost like a bluish and purple. It's so subtle, but in person, it almost has like a purple hue to it. I'm like, maybe I can pull up a white screen up top so it makes it, where'd my mouse go? So you can really see, cause it's really not capturing it. And it's really pretty. It's called Montana Sky. No, not really. No. Again, homespun from Lion Brand. So go to your local Michaels and check it out for yourself. So this will be Quinn's. He'll get blue with a tiny bit of purple. Um, I'm sorry. Are you seeing all one color like Kennedy's? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't realize the the pattern, again, super simple, top down. I finished Kennedy's in like two weeks while I was working on Joey's. So I'm like balancing them both. So I have no, I'm not stressing about Quinn's. I'm kind of stressing about Evan's because again, he is a big kid. So it's going to take me a lot longer, but I think it's the right pattern because it's super simple. If you just want to learn how to knit a sweater and the, it, there's children's sizes. I think I'm doing the second to largest size for Evan. And that's an adult's. I think it would be an adult extra large, maybe extra, extra large. So it has a huge range, a huge range of, um, of sizes. So, and again, super simple and straightforward. I don't think I'm knitting anything else. All I have is surprisingly, well, that I'm currently actively working on. Um, yeah. I really wanted to finish these Sophie scarves. And that has, that's taken more time than I thought. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I've also made a sweater. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this yeah. is a knit for Tiff Nealon. I love it. it's the notions pullover it's it's meant to be not necessarily a scrappy project um but she has it we're testing it in two different versions um so I did the dk weight versions where you hold two dk weights um together so it's um I'm using size 10 and a half needles mm -hmm. to get gauge pattern calls for size 11 um <clears throat> but it is just meant to be a comfy sweater. I decided to do the cropped length because I'm into cropped things suddenly. Um, I haven't found the perfect high-waisted pant yet, so I'm still on the lookout for that. But I, well, I thought I was, when I signed up for it, I'm like, oh, I have the perfect yarn in my stash. And it turned out it was fingering weight. And to do the fingering weight version, you hold four strands together. And I didn't have enough. So I went and I have one color in my stash with Dirty Dye Works. A I Jedi. That. I bought this years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you were like really on the hunt for Dirty Dye Works. And I can't remember it, exactly why. Uh, it was at a small little knitting thing in Rhode Island, I think, or Connecticut. One of yeah. those. Two. And because I just found them at, at that time and I'm like oh I love that they were like from the area yeah and I don't remember I think I bought it for the love note when it first came out that makes sense yeah never never did anything with it never so I thought I would use that and then I ordered <laughs> from the mermaid's pearl uh the closest yarn drop with indie dyers at it this is actually super exciting hedgehog fibers a custom colorway for the mermaid's pearl called mermaid's pearl i love that color though i really liked the skein of it, it looks so different when it versus caked up yeah. but i love the thought this came out exactly how i hoped yeah it I like i was nervous about it um so the other thing I also, so I've already made a modification. 
I don't know if you're supposed to do that in test nets, but I do. I do not like, if you're going to have a contrast hem on your collar and your wrist, this in my mind also needs to match that. Yeah. Yeah. It's rare that the patterns say to do that. So this one says you should be using this color to go down here, but instead I use my ribbon yarn, which is different. Um, this is true stash yarn. Some pink, I don't know what it is. Um, um, I got it from a local yarn shop. The one, one of them in Connecticut, they had a kit for a Casapinka shawl. Mm. And this part of it, I, this this could be like Cascades. Yeah, yeah. And dyed, you know. And then this is actually, um, this is actually what I wanted the body to be made out of. Mm. I thought this combo. Yeah, would have been. but I don't have this in my wardrobe, so I thought this would be a fun yeah top for me to wear. Not something I normally have. This was though so so happy, Jane. So yeah, happy, yep. So one of the some so happy, right. yeah. So happy, Jane. I bought this last year at Rhinebeck. Yeah, and I made socks mm -hmm. for my yeah. mother-in-law. It was very pretty. Um the socks and so I held these two together to get the ribbing yes. and so I just have to finish up the two sleeves put and then put the pick up the the collar so it's a very simple construction just all stockinette raglan I haven't tried it on since I made the sleeves <laughs> it should fit I'm always nervous. Like I clearly have a longer like armpit than most. You people. probably have a wider chest. Like you're, I don't know, but like, like I like the narrowness of like typically the size one patterns, but I usually need the yoke of the size two. I don't know if that has to do with how bad my gauging is mm. because here's a good, ex so this is, I can't like, you'll see more of this in Instagram. I hopefully we film before it's due. It's due at the end of November. So hopefully I'll have, we can have another one when it's finished. Yeah. Because I really, it's so simple and it's fast. This is size 10 and a half, right? Just, yeah. I'm zipping through it. Just zip, I zipped through this body. Yeah. And like, well, that's uh, where the Pritchard sweater I'm using size 10 and yeah. the yarn. Yeah. So I'm like, we'll get through it. Yeah. It's so pretty. I love that combo. I do. I'm so happy with this. But yeah, so here's a good how bad my gauging is. So I'm also going to make sweaters for Christmas for my family. My family has two. So I have it a little easier. So I picked a complex pattern. Well, Tyler has always wanted a cable knit sweater. Because mm -hmm. I, I should take out, I took my sweater out. I should put a picture of this online and we have to talk about it next time. The sweater I started for him last year. Mm -hmm. Last yeah. August. Last year. Yeah, sorry. We can finish it for our anniversary. Might have been 2020. Yeah, I was like, I feel like maybe it was the year before. I think it was 2020. I didn't realize it was steeped. I have a full sweater shirt on. The entire sweater, including the sleeves, is done. And I haven't finished it. All I have to do is cut it and add the shawl, add the collar. Can but I cut it? I've I never don't. steaked before. I screwed the steak up. It, it's its own episode. I've messed. I really did a bad job at the pattern reading. And yeah, I really messed it up. So I'm going to try. And plus when I showed Tyler, because it was color work, two by two color work, it was not something I enjoy doing. And I showed it to Tyler. He went, ooh, that's not really what I wanted. I use spin cycle yarn. Mm -hmm. So that just, there's no, it's not going to get finished. So instead, wait, wait, what pattern is it? It's the Jessica, the it's, spice, the, it's the spice cardigan. Yes, that's right. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. I, I wasn't super hurt by that. So instead, he's getting Lion Brand Fisherman Wool um, <laughs> this time around. That was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he wanted um a cardigan with cables and I picked color work so it's not even close to what he asked for 
Yeah. But yeah. I went with something that I thought I was more proud of. So he picked the- I feel like that would be his style though. You know, I know. Once it was finished, maybe he would feel differently because I can see pre-steaking, pre-collar, maybe it's, it's not his style. Yeah, sure. He could have pretended harder. <laughs> um, but here's the swatch of the Timberline cardigan. Love that. As you can see, it's like, I'm glad I did this. I never swatch. Um, it's, it's supposed, this, this is supposed to equal four inches by four inches. It equals five and just just over five inches by just over five inches. I don't know how to fix that because I, I don't want to size down the needle because I don't, I think that'll make this tighter. And it's, this is a hundred percent natural fisherman style wool. I don't want it to get any tighter because it's just going to get rougher. Can you just make a smaller size so I was going to make the small size but here's the thing my, my gauge is still going to be off that I think it's just going to be gigantic I have, have to do the math mm -hmm. because it's the difference here's a good example the difference in circumference in the sleeve at the top between the small and the medium is half an inch What is this thing so called? My, like, my gauge is gonna going down a size. I think will be about an inch too big. Hold on. And like I said, I'm I'm afraid to go down half. I'm afraid to go down and meet a size needle. I don't know if I should just do it and really measure it. And of course, this starts with the sleeves. Do you know the word? But in, I'm just putting it off. Cadenation? 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 I don't know what that is. Okay. So the designers and tech editors within the FBC were talking about it to use this feature on Excel to easily grade your patterns to make them all different sizes. And now I'm wondering if you could take your gauge and somehow use this feature. I wanted I don't, I know a lot about Excel. I have no idea what you're talking about. C-A-T-E-N-A-T-I-O-N. I don't know how to say it. I have the form. I think it might I, be a formula. I will say there's a blog post that one of the members shared and I'll, I'll send it to you and we can like put it in the notes. So if anybody else is like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Is this something I need to know? Yeah. Well, because I, um, I have an app. <laughs> I have an app. Nit Nitamus. Mm -hmm. or no it's knit trick knit mm. trick because I, I got the two of them together I bought the two of them together but knit trick is where you can put in my pattern expects this I'm gonna get but I'm getting this how much is it gonna matter so you can see like if you put in like oh if I change the size that I'm gonna do will it get me closer to the final measurements right I did that and I wasn't close so like I need to like math out yeah yeah how big across and I mean am I taking a section of this out in the end mm -hmm. to make it work and it's knit in pieces yeah I, I don't know why the hell I can't just pick a raglan well it's because he yeah. wants a cardigan it's a cardigan you can't yeah unless you want to speak it's it. hard to get in an easy yeah so I'm literally gonna knit the two sleeves bottom up the bottom part bottom up and then split and do this part split yeah. for the split for the front and then sew it all together and put a collar on by Christmas by Christmas and so that's why it's important I can't use anything smaller than size seven needles because I'll never finish it <laughs> yeah yeah well that's why I chose bulky weight for my sweaters as well because I was like eh -eh. well well that's what I tried to do the first time around for his sweater and he did yeah so he picked this pattern it's gonna it's it is it's a beautiful cardigan yeah it is it is cable so the other thing now I think I'm gonna buy I've been putting it off because I haven't found I haven't justified it in my head to spend twenty dollars on Coco Knits has that like wrist magnet thing and I need a cable needle on that because mm -hmm. I, I just did my entire swatch with a 
um, darn needle in my mouth. <laughs> in my mouth. Yep. Uh, yep. I, I feel like some- that's why I don't want to do cape. Like I've done cable work. My, the. I enjoy cable work. I really do. I honestly do. Yeah. I don't want to do cable work because I don't want to. Okay. I don't, no, I use magic loop because I don't want extra needles. I don't ever want to use more than two needles. So if I need to use a cable needle, I don't really want to do it. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> I learned on double point needles how to do everything. So. Yeah, and I hate it. I enjoy it. Mittens, I really enjoy on double point needles. I don't know what, I really enjoy them on double points. Not. I don't know if I would socks. I've never done socks on double. I always do them on the flexy ones. Mm-hmm. There's three cables in there flexible. I really like that. See, I feel like that's similar to magic loop though, because it's essentially just folding your work in half and working mm-hmm. half of it at a time. And then the other half. Yeah. So instead of having that third needle on the back, it's just your cable that's connected to the front. Too. So all preference. It is. And it, it's all the same. Yeah, really, you're going to get the same thing in the end. Yeah, I don't think I have. I was going to say, do we want to talk about like our um, notions types of purchases? Because I have my um, Black Pearl Magic. Oh, yeah. Talk about that. I want to hear about it. Because I put it on the website, but I want to hear what you think about it too. um, Okay, so So I was looking for a new case for my interchangeables. I have Chiagu red lace. Um, What sizes does it go to? Oh, size two through 13, maybe 11 actually. Like it's the full range. You got them for me for Christmas, maybe last year or the year before, but I was always buying because I love the metal. I just, I love their, their needles. They're, they're my preference. So perfect. Um, but I was buying a different fixed cable needle, every project that I needed something I didn't have. And it was like, this is crazy. So I didn't hate the case that they came in, but I needed more storage because now I'm buying all the cables so I can do all of the projects. So I saw that Black Pearl Magic had it. She put them on this on her site after Cake Palooza, so whatever she had was available. And so I made sure that I grabbed it once it once it dropped. Um, as you can see, it's clear, but it has like super sparkly vinyl, and it's really thick. Like this is not going to be maybe the back. No, you're not going to see the sparkles as well. Maybe a little. You had it at just the right angle that I you could kind of see it. Yeah. Well, that's it's, it. it's very pretty in person because we saw so that. Is it this? It must be the same material that the bags are made out of. Oh right? yeah, yes. We it's, saw the bags that came. And yes. Were, it's were sturdy. Bags. It's durable. Mm-hmm. I don't want to put like a pin through it, even though I'm really tempted to. But you can see, I got one from her. It says. Hello, my I am an anxious crafter, and so I just put it on the inside pocket. Isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> I that's I was like, uh, yeah, sold. Um, so I just have it on the inside yeah. pocket, and you can see it, and I don't have to like make a hole in it, you know. So I feel good about that. But anyways, um, also it has like a really cute flower zipper pull. Oh, cool. I, I love details. So inside though, this is why I got it. So I will say the only thing that I'm not thrilled about and I know that there's got to be a solution out there she probably has one let's be honest I just haven't actually looked because I'm pretty happy overall is that there's only one set of like needle pockets and my larger size needles don't fit into them I think that they would if I like were to work them but they're pretty stiff right now because it's brand new um but it fit all my smaller size so that's fine. But then it comes with three zipper pouches, which is really what sold me. It's like a binder. So you can take them off if you want. You can buy more and add more, which is what I want to do. So I just put all my larger sizes into its own pocket. They have a place. They're just not organized, whatever. And then I have um, two other pockets. So I have, oh, (laughs) some needles still attached to a cable. So I have my smaller cables and my large cables because my, depending on the size of your needle attaches to a different size cable. 
So like my size twos aren't going to attach to the same cable as my size tens because the attachment is bigger for my bigger size. You need a lot of cables. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I need places for cables. And I only had one pocket in my Chia Goo. And so I would stuff them all in and they'd all fly out. And I'm like, this is not working. So I have plenty of room in these. I even put like one of the T pins in so you can, I can tighten it. And, um, they, I also got adapters so like you can join the cables, but then also I can use my, uh, my large needles on my small cables with an adapter. So I got those. Um, so like, but you can't use, you can't go big to small because no. Yeah. that uh, they don't have they don't have those adapters either so but anyways and then it also has like I said on the other side it has a pocket so I had my scissors in here but I've been using them so slide that in there and then I have um, a crochet hook and then this is one of those adapter things so I mean like I said it all fits pretty nicely easy how to carry around slots for the needles I'm sorry how many slots for, for the needles seven seven slots for the needles so I want one more like I, even if I could just attach it to the binder part you know I'm sure somebody sells that somewhere you know so yeah. that's what I'm going to be looking for and like I said Shayla might have it Black Pearl Magic she might have something like that if not I'm sure I can find something I just haven't yet and I'm, because I'm happy with what I, what it is right now, based on what I just got rid of. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this is mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I really like it because it holds size two to 17 needles. Mm-hmm. So all my needles are in here, but there's only this one pocket for all the yep. cord. That's and exactly what mine was. Mess, a mess in here. Cause I've put like shorties in here um I'm about to put something else in here I don't know <laughs> everything you know? anything else yeah. would go into that pocket yeah and I just felt yeah. like I need more I don't know what cables are because of it but at least I like because I have the like I enjoy wood needles instead of the metal ones so I have this kind um, but also it's fun is the dreams brand fits it too. Yeah. And I also like their, um, I, I don't know if these are wood or if they call them resin or something. Cause yeah. they're not like wood, but they're metal type of ones. The dreams, yeah. I really like those kind and they fit on this cord. That's and the only downfall. One cord, no yeah. I would say that's a downfall with the cheap. G- is that you can't get smaller than three might be the only thing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I don't have twos ones zeros which I buy those and I try not to knit in those anyway so it's fine yeah yeah (laughs) until you make all your so I will I want like little pockets yeah to put the different sizes in yeah yeah what else did you buy um so I joined um or I'm pretending like I'm going to be able to join um, a book club for Neutrino. Um, I am, I am um, a member of their Sprouts. So you get exclusive patterns. And if you pay for different tiers, you can get um, yarn and you can get a pin, like a commemorative pin for every pattern. It's a really, and I just love supporting them in any way that I can. So I happily take all the patterns. And yeah, so they're also doing a book club for the Sprouts. So I was like, you know what? I love you guys. I could get away from my screens because when I knit, I watch TV and I'm really running out of things to watch, to be honest. So I thought I'm going to try to read while I knit, but I need something to hold the book open. So here came my, my book stand. It's really... I was saying earlier that I like didn't want to buy the book on Amazon because I was trying to support small business as, you know, the people that I'm going to be reading with are trying to do as well. And so I bought this on Amazon, (laughs) but it was like $12 and I'm like, 
perfect. It'll sit perfectly on my desk. And then if it works, you can buy a good one from a local. If I actually become a reader, I I will support small business and not feel bad about buying something that will probably get thrown away if I don't use it. So yeah, really. Maybe I can donate it if I don't use it, but no, I'm going to use it. I also thought I was going to be a reader, Mm -hmm. but I went about it a different way. And I, I got an audio book subscription. I listen, I have been listening to the Harry Potter series. I am on book seven. Finally, I think I've been doing this for almost a year now. And I, I try to listen when I'm knitting, but the TV is just easier. So, yeah. I don't read and that and here I am I have a book I bought a book I also bought a book. yeah tell me about your book and then I'll tell you about mine I don't even remember what it's called right now <laughs> mine is sweet success I'm obsessed with Candace Nelson okay um, she owns sprinkles the cupcake company in LA mm-hmm. and this her book she just I think it I didn't realize it just came out I was just wandering Barnes and Nobles with my son one day and I enjoy business books. I I really enjoy them. I really enjoy reading how other people started businesses. Yeah. And I saw hers and I went, oh, I love her. She took a creative old lady thing and put it on in LA and became the hottest selling cupcake making yeah. cupcakes mm-hmm. after she like lost her job in the tech world and yeah I was like, oh, that's kind of really inspiring and I because I do love her show Rush like I was watching that's what I was watching today as I was knitting yeah. instead of reading her book um and knitting because I can't I can't I can't I when I watch tv and I knit I'm not really watching tv see you know like I don't I can't I'm that's why I I see for this like the British Bake Off Mm -hmm. while I knit well I just enjoy competitive shows let's be honest yeah that's also a thing yeah usually football like today the pats aren't on but like football is in the background while I knit I don't really care who's playing if my especially if someone's on my fancy football team like then I'll watch it but yeah no I feel like background for me so that's why I don't audiobooks are better Mm -hmm. no I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna have no issues reading you're gonna have to turn the page while you're knitting okay I get interrupted by my kids like every five minutes to get them something I can never get through one row without being interrupted so I feel like just stopping to turn the page and then keep going I can't I tried I can't do it I can't well, I'm going to try. And I bought the, so the book is called Demon Copperhead. It literally just came out a month ago. It is by Barbara King Solver. It has a 4.56 star review on Goodreads. Um, okay. And I think it was a, yeah, it was like a Charles it's um, compared to Dickens david copperfield but it's new age so it's about like a teenage boy and the hardships that he has to go through in like the current age and i believe it's based around the pandemic as well that was what really got me in so i was like ooh, um yeah i'm reading quickly the so enough about the book tell us about you know so is this like are you a pattern along with this is this just purely a book club of people who also like to knit and and read I yes I think it's is it like a a genre specific thing so here's the problem I missed the meeting when they started it all but then joined on a whim and so yeah I did I just joined because they said it so we also um they meet (laughs) I love them so I'm like I'll do anything for you ladies I'm in (laughs) Um, so the sprouts, I believe they open it up every quarter for new people to yeah. join. Oh, so and sprouts to be in this. Yes, yes. Okay. Part of the sprouts. I thought about joining sprouts. I really have. I, I like, like I said, I job. love to support them any way I can. So I am like mm-hmm. sprout for life. You got me, girls. Yeah. Um, 
So they, uh, they have a meeting at least, I think it's every other week. And then they also have monthly like workshops or special classes for Sprouts. Mm -hmm. And then um, they also have a Slack channel. So I am on, I check in with Slack pretty regularly now. And so they told us, you know, if you missed it and you want to join our unofficial book club, this is what we're reading. Chapter one is like due for the next meeting, which I think is November 26th. So I'm like, oh, I've got plenty of time to read a chapter. I'm totally in. <laughs> your face, your face was my exact, I was like, hell yeah, I can do that. Come in. <laughs> so, and I've been wanting to read more books. Like I've, I've convinced Kennedy to read Harry Potter and I bought like the children's illustrated version of book one. So we can do that. And then I also got her Anne of Green Gables, which is from this version is from Usborne. And so it's especially mm -hmm. illustrated like by them. And I was hoping that the language might be a little bit easier, but it's not. But so anyways, we've been trying to get through a chapter a night of those and then she gets sick of it and she's a something else. But it's made me feel like I want to read these things again. Like this is so nostalgic that I want to be a reader. Like, again, I I haven't been a reader since I was like forced to read in middle school. Yeah, I was like, I would never call myself a reader. No, but I want to be. I really want to be. Those yeah, are my I, other people. I read a lot when I lived alone. Honestly, mm -hmm. I read all the Shopaholics books. I was like, can you read um, Pretty the Little Liars? No, I watched that. I, um, I read I Pretty Little Liars. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. I did I read the book. Because in like the show, I, I told them. you about the books. Yes. I really enjoy Chicklet and Teen. Just not serious books or serious business. I enjoy serious business books or non-serious fiction. Oops. I don't enjoy Twilight, though. I read the Twilight book. Yeah, I think we've... Till <laughs> next time. Next yep. time, we'll next time, we should have finished letters. One, We should each have one finished letter. I love it. My goal at least one because my testament will be due probably by the next time we try this mm -hmm. so I should have a finished sweater and hopefully sleeves yeah for a man sweater yeah I am uh hoping I have at least one and a half sweaters and a third yeah. started that's a good goal those are our goals for the next time we talk so Let's I hope, hope, it's not in, hope it's not in a month because then we're screwed because I still wanted to make like little Christmas gifts. I don't know what they that's are yet. Not, oh no, that's not fair. I, like, I still have to make socks. I have to make socks for Julie. I do. I need to make one pair of socks. I was going to make them for grandpa. I have my LL Bean. Yeah. Yarn. I debated making him a hat, but I don't think he would wear a hat. I don't know if he'd wear a hat. He likes those. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think your socks. Well, that's the thing. I was like, I know Devin's going to make him socks. And then I mean, he's going to wash them and then wear them again. Yeah. Fine. All right. Well, that's all. Yeah. That's all. See you next time.